In Affinity Photo, you can create some great pattern designs super easy by using bitmaps you've got, like a JPEG or PNG file, and you can load them in two ways. And we'll show you how in this video. This is for version one, version two, also PC or Mac. So let's just remove this layer. First method, just go to layer and then new layer, and then go down here to the gradient tool. You can see the gradient tool there and click and drag. Then you'll see this, you've got the fill up here. This is the fill for this image. And you've got here linear, elliptical, etc. Down the bottom, you've got bitmap. Select bitmap, and then you'll be able to select a file. Now I've got a JPEG file here, but it could be a PNG, etc. There's a number of different formats that can be used. And then click open. Now, first thing you do is you can move it around. And you can also use these interactive tools just to drag in and out. Now you can see one problem with this. And that's this, where it smears off at the side. Now that's not ideal. It doesn't look good. Obviously, it's great if you're just using the pit map pattern like that, fine. But it's not very useful if you want to repeat the pattern. There's no option to do that here. The better method is this. Go to Layer and then down to New Fill Layer. This creates a special kind of layer. And you can see over here, it says fill and you also you get a slightly different icon here. What you can then do is go over to the gradient tool, which is selected by default, click and then drag. And it will create this white to black or perhaps other colors depending on the color settings. Okay, once you've got that, go up here to type. The moment set to linear, you can change it elliptical, etc. But down the bottom, you've got bitmap. But this time, when you select bitmap, if you select that, you'll get this. Select the file, again, JPEG, PNG, all those formats, and click open. Now, when you then resize this, let's just resize it in so you can see multiple tiles. Now, these tiles now are just repeated over and over again, but they're not seamless. Doesn't look great, but if you want this design, that's what you get with wrap. If you go here, the extend, this is the key thing here. Just go to extend and then go to mirror. And now you get a lovely seamless design. It's repeated, but this time it flips it so it matches the seams horizontally as well as vertically. And then you can just resize this and you can see as you do that, you get this lovely seamless tile design. You can also go for this one, which is repeat, and you get the same as the original gradient tool. So again, you can resize it like that, or you can go for zero, which is just a single tile, which you can move around and reposition. Of course, you can resize it to fill it like that. And now I'm just gonna delete it, because you can also use it with the shape tools. So let's just go over here, just select here, a rectangle, it could be any shape, but just create that. And with this, you can then go over here, select the move tool, and you'll notice you've got the fill over here. And you can click, and with this, you can see you've got gradient, color, all those sort of things. But let's just go for the gradient tool, just to add a gradient. So just go to the gradient tool, and with this selected, this is the key thing, this rectangle selected, you can just drag, and now you can see you get this, of course, the type is bitmap, but you may, of course, if you just use it initially, you'll just get linear. So you get this linear, but exactly the same as before, you can always select this one, bitmap, and you select the file and click open, and you can move it around. You've also got the option again for extend. So you can go here, click mirror. So with mirror selected, and this is in the extend one up here, you can then resize this and you can see as you do that you get this lovely seamless tile design in Finti Photo and you can then move this around reposition it drag it around like that manipulate it in many different ways the best option again go to layer and then down to new fill layer with that go over here to the type go down to bitmap select that 
select the file and then click open. With this, you can now then resize this, move this around, angle it and reposition it. You can also go here to the extend and then set to mirror to get a lovely seamless design and resize it like that. Another option, if you want, you can go here and click here. As soon as you deselect this, it means that here, if you go to this, you can squeeze this in and you get a result like that. So you can get a very intense design just in the horizontal or vertical, depending, of course, on the angle you're currently positioning it. And release. And of course, this layer can be duplicated. And also, what you can do is you can combine it. So you've got this layer selected. You can then go to Layer, and then down here to Duplicate. So you can duplicate that Fill Layer. With this, you can go here, and again, manipulate these interactive controls like this. Just resize it. And then go here to, instead of Normal, you can go to, say, Lighten or overlay, etc., to create all kinds of combinations. And again, move this around, reposition interactive controls. Also, modify the extend if that's what you want. So maybe go for a wrap, etc. But what you can also do is duplicate it again, and so on. Of course, once you're happy with this, you can then just simply go to Layer, and then rasterize the layer, or combine the layers into a single one. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below.